read a lot. Even though I've been teaching for many, many years, I never stopped reading professional books. I all, if there's something new coming out about technology, I like to buy it and read it to help me find other ways to integrate that I maybe I never thought of. You have to get outside your own classroom. It can be very easily to, easy to get isolated in your own room. And so going to these actual events where you're with other teachers is so important. Uh, another way is through social media. Uh, I participate in some chats on Twitter, so you can meet teachers, you know, in another country even, not even in your own district. Um, but getting on and, and talking to other teachers and finding out what they're doing and sharing ideas and, and looking for chats that are appropriate to my grade and um, my interest. And, and usually once you get on, you find a few people that you really have connections with and maybe you tweet with them on the side too. And <laughs> um, so those are a couple ways that I try to stay connected. I am connected to other educators in the programs in early childhood. In my school, I'm connected to other great other teachers in different grades. So just staying connected by reading, by talking to other educators, by going to uh, professional developments, just kind of continuing to learn and be a lifelong lear learners.